Hi, this is Presh Talker. Can you solve this math problem which has gone viral? This problem was asked to eight-year-olds in Vietnam. Place the numbers one through nine using each number exactly once to make a valid equation. The numbers should be written in the empty boxes and the expression should be read from left to right, wrapping around the corners. The boxes which contain the semicolons are the same thing as the mathematical operation of division. Can you figure this out? You need to put the numbers 1 through 9 so that the entire expression equals 66. This is not an easy problem and you should give it a try before watching the video. I'm going to explain how you can come up with the solution. Let's think about this problem logically. When we want to work out a solution, we should first make the step of writing the expression in the normal way we write mathematical expressions as a single line from left to right. This will make it easier to put in the numbers. The next thing we want to think about is how easy it would be to guess a solution. How many ways are there to put the numbers 1 through 9 in these 9 boxes? Well, we can put 9 different numbers in the first box, so there are 9 possibilities for the first number that we can put in. Once we do that, there are eight possibilities we can put in the second box. These are any of the eight numbers we haven't put in the first box. The third box will only have seven possibilities because we've used two possibilities for the first two boxes. Continuing the logic, we would have one less possibility for each box until we get to the last box which will be forced by the numbers we picked in the previous boxes. In total, there are 9 factorial or 362,880 possibilities. That's a lot of possibilities to try and work through just by brute force, and therefore we're not going to figure out a solution just by simply guessing and checking every single possibility. So let's work out the solution logically. I'm first going to remove these boxes, and then I'm going to put parentheses because we need to respect the order of operations. Anytime there's a multiplication or division that needs to be evaluated before we do the corresponding addition to the left or the right. So now I was thinking, this is how I came up with the solution. I thought, well, this problem was asked to eight-year-olds. So maybe there's a really easy solution. So what if I just wrote the numbers one through nine in order from left to right? This actually got pretty close to the answer of 66. This got to about 53. I thought, well, what if I wrote the numbers in descending order? So I wrote them from nine to one. Quite surprisingly, I again got pretty close to the answer. So from here I thought maybe I can modify this expression to get to a result of 66. So I experimented a little bit and what came to my mind was I thought about this 8, 7, and this 4. I thought maybe I could have 8 divided by 4 and I would switch the 7 out, but that didn't really work. So then I thought maybe I could switch the 3 numbers. What if I have just move these 3 numbers one over to the right in a circle? So I would have 4 and then 8 and then 7. Well, if I was dividing 4 by 8, then I would need to make one more adjustment. Let's move these three numbers around, so I would have 1 times 3 divided by 2. When I did that, I got to an answer of 55. The good thing is this is a whole number, and the second good thing is that it's only 11 less than our answer that we want of 66. And then I looked at the expression, I said, oh, this is easy. If I switch the 6 and the 5, I'm going to increase the product 12 by 5 going to 12 by 6. I'm going to increase this by 12. And then when I replace the 6 by the 5, I'm going to reduce it by 1. So that's exactly going to increase the entire expression by 11. And that gets us to our answer of 66. So here is one solution to our problem. In fact, after I wrote out this solution, I realized one more thing. There are in fact multiple solutions that we can get once we figure out one answer. 
How is this? Well, notice that we can switch the numbers that are being added and it will have it will generate another solution. We'll still get the same answer of 66, but we just put the two numbers in different positions. Similarly, we can switch the two numbers which are being multiplied. That won't have any effect on our final expression. So that'll give us another possible answer when we write the numbers in the grid. Of course, once we do that, we can switch the two numbers which are being added. So anytime you come up with an answer, you can actually generate a total of four answers by placing the numbers in different positions because certain operations are commutative. That is, it doesn't matter which way you evaluate them. Addition and multiplication are commutative. But these aren't the only answers. I looked online and some people had posted other ways that you could get to 66. And these are completely different arrangements of numbers. And each time you have these, remember, you can generate other solutions by swapping the two numbers which are being added or swapping the two numbers which are being multiplied. So how many solutions are there in total? I don't know. If you come up with an answer, please leave a comment. Or if you just come up with other solutions, it'd be very interesting to see what the solutions are. Somewhere I read the answer is 120. And this seems to make sense because it should be a multiple of four. If someone said there are, say, 101 answers, that wouldn't really make sense because anytime we generate one answer, we know that they come in sets of four. So I think there are 120 solutions, but I don't know exactly. So if you figure it out, please provide a link, leave a comment, and let us know what you come up with. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can also catch me on social media at Presh Talwakar. And if you like this video, please check out my books. I've written several books about math puzzles and interesting topics just like the one in this video. You can also check out my book about game theory. Thanks for watching.